What's guys, welcome back. We'll have a look at music for Susi West Tom by Harry Styles uh, from his new album. I'm trying to cover the whole album as fast as possible. So be sure to stay tuned. I'll just try my level best to do everything uh, for you guys. So this song really has this small kind of very pretty fast, uh, this small starting intro riff and then it's basically just one main chord progression which goes for some parts of the song otherwise it's one chord going throughout the whole song yes you heard it right so no keep only just stand tuning first cause a bar chord f sharp major it's you can play it like this or you can play it without a bar two four four three two two got it so index middle ring pinky and thumb e major open second second first open open so we got f sharp e major now we have a d major we peel open second third second bring it one fret up Arium pinky on the fifth fret of the D string, it's mute mute, five, three, four, three. That's how it stands. It's now a D sharp major. So if I just show you guys the chord progression, which walks for just after you play this riff, and then for the chorus, it's basically F sharp, one dance stroke, E one dance stroke, then a D sharp, two D, and one dance string is enough. And I'm actually muting the chord just after playing one dance stroke. Sorry. And then throughout the whole song, it's basically the, just the F sharp major chord going on. Right? So that was pretty easy for the rhythm, but the riff goes pretty fast. Oops. Making a lot of mistakes, but we gotta practice this just to get to the top speed. It goes like this. Just follow the fingers and your plectrum should be going in a down up motion which means if the first stroke is a down the second stroke has to be a up no matter what happens it doesn't matter if the string changes fret changes it should be a up so you go down up down up down up down up ninth fret uh, so we start off on the 11th fret of the g string ring finger middle finger on the 10th fret of the b string 12th fret on the b string with the pinky ninth fret on the high e string with the index Pinky back to the 12th fret of the B string, middle finger on the 10th fret of the B string. So you got. Now practice these phase separately. Just practice this one. Down, 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 okay, take it, take it. Now the second phase goes like this. I'm playing 11th fret on the G string with the ring. Middle finger is now on 10th fret of the high E string, 9th fret on the high E string with the index, then pinky back on 12th fret of the B string, and then it's index on the high E string 9th fret, pinky on 12th fret of the B string, and then we have 10th fret on the B string. So the second phrase we have. Got it? And if you put it all together, it sounds like this. So we really need to just uh, gotta practice a lot just to uh, get uh, the speed which is going in the song and that's basically the whole song the main riff done and the chord progression done That's the whole song guys uh, Really excited to hear this album. Let me know what other song you want to learn uh, from Harry's house I'll try to cover the whole album by tomorrow. Yes, you heard it right. So be here to subscribe. It helps me a lot and bye